Hey y'all, check this out. I've got a message for you. All right, you know, talking about we are celestial deities, which we are. It's a quick message, okay? We are celestial deities. We as original beings. All right, six protons, six neutrons, six electrons. All right, we're carbon. All of us will this construct right here, you know, this chocolate skin, you know, who we are original beings we have the ability to bring things from the cosmos into this physical realm all right we can summon different things and they come in the form of meteors you don't summon meteors that's one thing you don't do is say i'll summon some meteors you know you don't summon meteors all right. You can summon crystals from the cosmos, cosmic crystals. You can summon cosmic metals. You can summon cosmic minerals. Okay. And they will come in the form of a meteor. All right. And, you know, more than likely they come into the area where you needed to come. Now, how you do this is you have to go into the astral realm. All right, you have to you have to literally go into this deep spiritual state where you are going into what you call space. You're going into space. You're going into the cosmos. All right, you gather so much energy, and you're summoning certain crystals that you need on this physical plane in order to enhance your physical body. And, and, and to help you to, be, to become more spiritual, as well as the metals, as well as the minerals. All right. These non-indigenous beings who are on the planet, they want to collect all this stuff for themselves because they're trying to analyze it. They're trying to figure out what it is. But you know what it is. They will come to you. All right. You can literally cause a crystal shower. A cosmic crystal shower or multiple types of cosmic crystals that are not indigenous to this planet has no no structure, no planetary structure, and they'll come down in the form of a meteor shower, but there'll be literally be different cosmic crystals. You have different cosmic metals. I mean there's more metals out there than what we see on the periodic table of elements. A shitload of metals. Okay, so and here what I'm saying is that you can summon different cosmic metals, cosmic crystals, cosmic minerals, but you got to go in the astral realm. You got to be able to imagine going up into the cosmos, um, morphing your body. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Shaping your body into the form of gas, shaping your body into the form of liquid, shaping the body, your body in the form of electricity. I mean, it's fun. I'm telling you this because I've done it. All right. Um, but you summon, you can summon the cosmic crystals. You can summon the cosmic metals or the cosmic minerals through the astral realm so that they can come down and therefore... Um, you're supposed to be able to collect them. You know, like I said, well, this this uh, meteor came down to South America and it landed and they're trying to find out where it is. That was some um, original being down in the area called South America who went into the spirit realm and summoned, went into the astral realm, brought down certain crystals that he needed or she needed, they needed, all right, to help enlighten or strengthen their spiritual powers, their spiritual abilities. All right, so uh, y'all, let's get to work. All right, you have to you go into the um, the astral realm, and you can literally change so much. But in, in the astral realm, that's where you will be able to um, summon different. Um, cosmic material and it will materialize in this physical realm.
right? Just by you going into the astral realm, it will, phys it will materialize as physical realm. So let's see if we can get some brothers and sisters started working, all right? And these things belong to you. Remember that. This is your planet. That's your sun. That's your moon. This is your galaxy. This is your universe. This is your cosmos. You all that, and all that is you, all right? Much power to you all.